Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to go over some general behaviors and personality traits that I've picked up along the way through the many years of keeping guppies. I started caring for guppies at around the age of 12 and before that I've always had some form of a fish tank set up with various species. But guppies, they are definitely one of my favorites and have the cutest and pretty peaceful personalities. So let's get started. Guppies are very peaceful, gentle fish that can be found at all levels of your fish tank, but found most often towards the mid-upper levels. But at night, if you do turn off your lights, they can be found at the lower level, usually resting or picking at algae. Guppies are known to be a non-aggressive, relatively gentle fish, so make sure if you do wish to keep them with tank mates that they are not going to nip at their fins and stress them out. However, guppies at times can be aggressive. I don't have any problems with them being aggressive towards any other species in my aquariums. I just usually have problems with them being aggressive towards each other and nipping at each other's fins. The females do seem to be more aggressive when dealing with food and the males do seem to be more aggressive when it comes to mating behaviors. And this is when I notice nip tails the most is when the males are trying to compete for the female's attention. Guppies have been known to show aggression towards their young and eat their fry, but if you keep your guppies well fed, I don't run into this problem as often, but I do notice this behavior more in the females than the males. There have been various scientific studies done on fish personalities, including the guppy, testing freezing behavior, swimming patterns, how they inspect danger, and they do consider them social swimmers, not schooling fish. They're not known to be a species for schooling, but they do kind of shoal together and cluster when facing danger and inspecting new environments. And from my experience with conducting my guppy experiment, I did notice a bolder type of personality as well as a shyer type of personality. With this bold and shy behavior, you can witness this immediately in the fry. In my personal experience with the guppy experiment, the more stressed the females were, the more bold the guppies were when they were born, the fry were more apt to inspect the new surroundings when I moved them whereas the relaxed females had a little bit more shyer offspring that would exhibit this behavior where they would kind of go spastic for just a second and then they would just lay on the bottom of either the breeder box or the new tank and just have this freezing type behavior. Also, during the experiment when I was stressing, I did notice that they would all cluster together in a type group and the more dominant male of the, the particular tank would kind of go out and inspect the surroundings first. And they would all protect the most dominant larger female. Would be the last to usually leave the particular corner or spot they were clustering into. During my ecology classes, we did learn when it comes to males and females in nature it does take more energy for the females to have eggs and fertilize them and then give birth. So that is the reason why the males do protect the females to the level that they do. When it comes to intelligence, I do know that the guppies do recognize feeding time. It seems like when I pull out their food, they do come towards the front of the glass and do get a little bit more excited in their swimming patterns. But I do know that they have really good eyesight, even as fry. They are amazing swimmers and very hard to catch. So I'm not sure if they have really good eyesight or if they're on the more intelligent level. But let me know if you have any comments on this and please leave them in the comments below. 
overall the general personality and general behavior of guppies is going to be laid back they're going to be non-aggressive they're going to be very enjoyable to watch I have high levels of anxiety and I often find myself just relaxing and watching the guppies swim around the tank you can keep them with a variety of different species just make sure that they do not nip at the guppies tails to stress them out and you can keep them in a variety of different tank sizes but I would recommend sticking with something at least 10 gallons or above. Also on a side note I have noticed in the past if my guppies get too cold from the temperature that they're used to they will act a little bit lethargic until I can warm up the water so learn your guppies each aquariums community will be different they will have their own personalities from another aquarium even in the same house or fish room so just keep that in mind learn your guppies learn your fish and if you've noticed something that's off just observe it do some research and see if you can come up with a solution I hope you've liked this video and picked up some new information for your guppies or even guppies you're planning on having in the future. Don't forget to check out all my other videos on the channel for all your guppy needs. Hit like, leave a comment if I've left anything out or if you have anything that's interesting about your guppies personalities that you would like to leave and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much and enjoy.